Hi, I'm Shomnath Dev, CTO and founder of Qualtech Systems. And today I want to talk to you about an exciting technology we have developed, a full featured, low cost health management system suitable for a variety of Navy platforms, including combatant craft. First, a word about us, Qualtech Systems. We are a 28-year-old small business based out of Connecticut, working in the area of diagnostics, prognostics, health management, and CBM+. Over the years, we have developed our team software toolset, a set of course products that are used in a variety of industries for guided troubleshooting, real-time diagnosis and health management, and design for testability and service. We have commercial customers like SciX, who have deployed our team's guided troubleshooting solution for their worldwide field service workforce, helping improve quality of service while reducing cost of service. We have been working with NASA for over 25 years and have proven our solution in the ARIES 1X and EFT1 launch programs, achieving a TRL level of seven. NASA is currently funding us as a game-changing development for health management of Lunar Gateway in the Artemis program. We are proud to bring you this experience and expertise and build you a fully capable health management in a box that you can deploy in a variety of platforms. Health management is obviously important. That's why you build it into multi-million dollar fighter planes and ships. However, such health management solution is almost always custom developed and coded for each platform with very little regard for portability and reuse. That's why they cost so much. They're simply not cost effective for less expensive systems such as power boats and combat vehicles. If only health management cost a fraction of what it costs now, say about $10,000, imagine how many Navy platforms would benefit from it. In a phase two SBI funded by NAVC, we are doing precisely that. We are building a modular health management system based on industrial components that will provide real-time logging, monitoring, and health assessment during missions, and guided troubleshooting and CBM plus capabilities for maintenance. Our initial target is a 34 feet power boat, but we can easily extend it to 40 feet and Mark 6 power boats. This is also applicable to a variety of manned and unmanned surface and underwater vehicles. So here is our mission statement for this SBIR. We want to bring the best health management system, something just as capable as what you would fly in the JSF, to the 34 feet power boat within the scope of a phase two SBIR. The benefits are obvious. It will improve system readiness, reduce unscheduled downtime, and provide total asset visibility. Our version one of the health management system is currently undergoing C trials. It was installed in October 2020, and we are only 15 months into our phase two. Over the next year or two, we hope to demonstrate and quantify the benefits of our solution and optimize it to Navy needs. We have adopted a spiral development process and expect to have two rounds of updates and enhancements on this solution before our three years of phase two are over. Let's look at the health management system we installed last October. The first thing you will notice is that it is very modular. There are sensors connected to an interface box, and there may be more than one interface box, one for each engine, for example. The interface box is connected to the health management unit or the main computer, which is connected to the display, all using USB interfaces. We made a conscious decision to use smart sensors and connect them using industry standard protocols like CAN bus, LIN bus, and USB. The oil sensor measures impedance and characterizes the oil quality communicated back over USB. The battery sensor, and there are three of them for the 324 volt battery banks. Each assess state of charge and state of health for the battery and measure the temperature amps and voltages. The engine data is acquired via CAN bus from the J1939 port. The display renders a web page served from the HMU and can cycle through customized status screens and health screens. All of this allows us to port this solution to another vehicle or platform simply by choosing the necessary sensors a la carte and it is almost plug and play. 
If we target a different engine by a different manufacturer, we'll have to update the data definition files and models for the new engine. But those are data file updates. They will not require software rewrite. The solution is built such that it has basic capability of reading, logging, and reporting diagnostics from the smart sensors without need for any QSI's COT software, which are separately licensed. This includes measure of oil quality, battery, health, and state of charge, and engine diagnostic codes. But the power of this solution can be further enhanced by adding our team's model-based reasoner products. Adding Teams RT will enable real-time diagnosis and root cause determination, which will reduce or eliminate the need for lengthy troubleshooting during shore maintenance. Adding TeamMate will enable the HMU to perform much like a class 5 IETM, an electronic technical manual served from the same HMU. Let's look at some of the key features and benefits. First, we are leveraging COTS hardware and software. The hardware consists of industrial grade ruggedized components instead of expensive mill standard hardware. The difference may be that our hardware is rated at zero degree Fahrenheit, whereas mill standard requires minus 40 degrees. Remember, we are deploying these on power boards, not ice cutters. So do we really need the added burden? Likewise, our Cox Reasoner provides the same capability as expensive custom-written real-time diagnosis and guided troubleshooting software at a fraction of the cost. And it is already proven in NASA and commercial world. In fact, the Reasoner is our magic sauce that enables us to build a $10,000 aviation-grade health management solution with advanced diagnostic and health management capabilities without expensive development costs. With this, you can improve system availability, reduce overall downtime, have total asset visibility, manage fleet health, all the benefits of CVM Plus at a reasonable price that will pay for itself in a year or two. We have installed our solution on a single 34 feet power board and are currently performing C trials. We will collect data from these trials and improve our analytics. We are also gathering feedback from operators and maintainers and improving usability of our solution and tailoring its capability to Navy needs. We look forward to the opportunity to install it on multiple boards, perhaps during phase three, to demonstrate the fleet health management benefits of our solution and transition it to wider Navy use. Our solution will be equally beneficial to a variety of other vehicle systems, including land, surface and underwater, manned or unmanned vehicles. Current options include extending this to 40 feet and Mark 6 power boats and creating even lower cost versions of this health management solution for moose boats with outboard engines. Commercial applications include any system with a motor or engine or a complicated machinery, especially those systems that are autonomous and mission critical or in remote locations. This would include wind turbines and offshore drilling rigs. We have already deployed our COT software in field service organizations for medical and semiconductor equipment makers. And a health management in a box solution will be especially convenient to deploy in a wide variety of industrial environments. So how do we transition and deploy this? Remember, our solution consists of COTS hardware and our own team's COTS software. We will gladly partner with Primes, Boatyards, for example, to build the hardware to our design and specification and then license our COTS software on it to deliver the full solution. For new platforms, our model-based reasoner will minimize the amount of custom development required, keeping non-recurring engineering costs low. This approach will allow us to scale up rather easily in partnering with multiple primes or boatyards for hardware while we focus on our core competency, health management software. Help us help you. I think we have a promising solution here, but it is a solution in search of a problem to solve. We think of ourselves as the company that helps deliver uptime and availability. If you need this exact solution or something similar, 
please feel free to contact us. We love a new challenge and savor the joy of solving new problems with our expertise in diagnostics and health management. Thank you for the privilege of your time. I hope to speak with you in the near future. Thank you.